I mean, I guess I'm, I guess I'm on. It's hard to know. Um, I guess I'm on. It's hard to know. Oh yeah, there I am. Okay, now I can mute this. Um, I guess I'm on. It's hard to know. Oh yeah. There ah, sweet. Okay, great. I figured everything out, everybody. Don't worry. I'm a professional. <laughs> I've done a couple of these uh, online things now, and they don't get more natural, but uh, hopefully they're somewhat enjoyable for everybody. Hey, how's it going? It's me, Noah, here on the computer to play you some music. I'd like to say happy pride to everybody. Difficult times, but a lot to be proud of. Music on Twitch TV 
and um, let me see if I can figure out how to look at the chat um, without looking at myself. No, please be quiet, Noah. Let me see. If Thank you. Okay, great. Hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, this is um, this is bizarre. This is the world we live in now. We're all just sort of doing chat things. Um, I'm seeing a lot of hellos. Big up. Uh, how's it sounding? Is it is, is somebody put in the in the chat if it sounds okay or not, or if I need to adjust levels? Because Lord knows I'm no technician. Um, I want to say thank you to everybody for listening to Gemini, um, putting it on the Billboard charts. That was a kind of an amazing uh, moment, and uh, and I just wanted to say thank you so much. It's 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 really surreal to know that. Um, people are listening to this music. I never really expected that when we were making this record. Uh, I hoped that people would find it and listen to it, but you just never really do know. And so it's a pretty incredible feeling to know that it's finding people. I've seen messages from people saying, you know, their, their, their kids like listening to it, uh, that they put it on for meals or at nighttime when they're trying to go to sleep or or any anything and everything it's a it's a kind of an incredible uh thing to get that feedback so i really appreciate you all i saw somebody say it's uh the camera gets shaky when i'm really digging in uh, there's nothing i can do about that at this point so uh enjoy the shakes um and just think about it as like a a Toronto earthquake that's taking place. <laughs> wow, somebody's listening in India. This goes out to whoever's staying up till 4.30 in the morning to listen <laughs> in India. <laughs> Here I am, wasting my breath again, taking up oxygen. I'll never be president. Here I am, throwing it out again. There's nobody listening. It used to be interesting But now we're so hesitant Probably never be anything It feels like I'm walking Underwater Thank you. 
prone to embarrassment You know you're out of your element Seems like there's only one way to settle this Faking intelligence Or pretend that you're confident no one will see just how desperate you are to be relevant. Mm -hmm. And it'll feel like you walk in. Oh, it's gonna feel like you walk in. It's gonna feel like you walk in underwater. Okay. Um, wow, this like. 5,300 people watching this. That's very cool. That's by far the biggest room I've ever played. So cheers. Um, I hope that everybody's getting through this kind of weird time okay. It's, uh, I've found it to be um, both like very stressful and also very calming at very different times. It feels like the those things are sort of closer than they've been just depending on the day and um, you know, I know that I've been leaning on some of my favorite uh, favorite musicians and um, killing a lot of time watching Breaking Bad. I don't know if anybody's seen the show, um, but holy smokes, it's uh, I just finished it yesterday. It's very intense. I feel like that was really um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to look at some of these comments. Um, Okay, there's a lot of positivity coming through the comments, and I, I just want to say I'm, uh, I'm very uh, appreciative of all of this. Um, what do I want to play? Uh, what do you want me to play? Some people are writing... Um, <laughs> somebody wants to hear Never Gonna Get My Love. I'm going to... Uh, I haven't played that song in a very long time, and it doesn't feel right to me somehow to play it now. Because what if Claire heard it? You know what I'm saying? Um, I think that I will play this song. Which uh, got me through um, the early part of the COVID-19 pandemic making this video. Um, with Claire and my great friend Kit Wayman uh, in an empty house that's uh, still under renovation. It's, uh, things happen slower now than they used to. But um, it just felt so good to work on something in that early time when I was supposed to still be on tour and things were feeling like everything was shut down. Well, it's hard to hear yourself think above the noise on our street. It's hard to cool down when your body just generates heat. It's hard to write songs when you feel like you can't even speak. It really ain't hard to tell you the only thing I need. And I've been on the wrong end of too many telephone Trying to say too much, just sending up, saying nothing at all. Till I'm pacing the floors and bouncing my head off the wall. Oh, yeah. But it ain't 
ain't hard to tell this will all be well in the fall. I see you, Jacob. Just telling me to hold on. I can only be so strong for so long without you holding on me. And I'm singing yesterday's songs, wishing I could be with you tonight. Tomorrow my surrogate friends will say, hey man, are you all right? Well, you know it's like everybody's eyes on the prize, but they all lost their sight. It ain't hard to tell, this is hell and it just ain't my life. Oh, now I'm tired of sleeping alone, I'm tired of waking up here. I'm tired of suppressing these same unexplainable fears Oh, now I'm tired of believing I wasted my formative years With a hand on your side of the bed I remember the words that you said But it ain't hard to tell whose voice is in my head First telling me Hold on, hold on, and you'll see that we can be so strong for so long if you just keep away. Not there yet. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. How's everybody? I've seen a lot of comments about hair, and I, I did want to let everyone know um, that I will be getting a haircut on Saturday. Um, I'm going to try to preserve uh, some of the uh, curls. I like the, the, uh, the hashtag that's popped up a couple of times. That's really great. Um, and I'll certainly take it into account. I'll show my barber the... Hey, speaking of barber, uh, I don't know if you guys know Matt Barber, but he produced uh, both my records and was on the First Time Out tour. Um, and uh, we played this show in San Francisco. And we'd had, like, a great day of, like, biking around in San Francisco and in Golden Gate Park and... Um, we saw some some lovely nudists, uh, elderly gentlemen, just you know, on the beach, getting a great full body tan, um, and uh, and we got to the show, and Barber had this. He's got this fleece vest. I think he wore it at a couple of shows. If anybody was there, 
And before the show, he was like, my wife Alexis gave me this vest and um, and I think I'm going to rock it. And we were like, the rest of the band was like, do you, bro? Like, you know, that looks looks good. And he went out and I was, as soon as he went out, I was like, I got to make a Simply the Vest joke when I get on stage. And I played the entire show and forgot to make a Simply the Vest joke about Matt Barber. So now that he's not here and won't be mad, unless he's watching, oh boy, that would be tough, eh? If I said that Matt Barber was Simply the Vest. Um, it's pretty, uh, yeah, it's pretty great material. <laughs> Not just the vest. I don't know what I want to play now. I'm going to, I'm going to play, uh, some songs from the B side of, uh, of, um, Gemini. Speaking of which, uh, there, we are making vinyls. We're making CDs. Um, they're taking a little bit longer, but, uh, they're, I think they're going to be really beautiful objects. I've, I, uh, I posted a little bit about some of the, the design, um, of the album and, and the incredible artists that, uh, that are in my, my circle that I've been able to, uh, task with making some of these things, including the, the Gemini, uh, statue that my good friend, Miles Gertler, uh, recast. And, uh, I have to, I'm actually looking at two of them right now. Uh, the one on the front and the back, and um, yeah, so th those those are coming, and hopefully uh, before too long. But um, I'm very excited about to actually hold one in my hands. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Um, I think the way that I thought about constructing the record was um, having the A side be um, sort of songs that have more, I don't know, drive or or a sort of like hopeful quality a bit more of a even though like you know underwater is not like the the sunniest tune um some of those songs they've just the arrangement of them as Catherine O'Hara said about underwater she said that's a very sad song but the arrangement is hopeful and uh and I agree and I think the songs in the second half of the record I sort of thought of as as um a bit more rainy day tunes um I kind of wanted to split that record in two in a way of, um, I feel like that has a lot to do with my personality is sort of good days and bad days and um, I wrote this song um, on a bad day I think it was just after Philip Seymour Hoffman had died
laid on the road It's grabbing hold of my energy I already know That song's called Heroes and Ghosts, and um, I don't know why I left enemies out of the title, but uh, there you have it. Um, okay, 6,700 people are here, and that is, um, that's crazy, that's very difficult to wrap your head around. Um, I I hope that uh, I hope that sooner than later we'll be able to um, be in the in the same room playing these songs again. Um, I was in the middle of for those of you who don't know, I uh, was in the middle of my my first tour, my first time out tour, and we'd we'd done a West Coast uh, swing, about six shows on the on the West Coast. And that was really like, uh, I don't know, that was sort of like, felt like getting my feet wet a little bit. And we were just starting um, the second sort of leg of it, which was uh, started in Ann Arbor. And then we played a show in Chicago. And, uh, and after Chicago, uh, we, we never made it to Boston, which was our next, our next gig. And at that Chicago show, I, you know, in a way, I'm, I'm glad that that's the one that we went out on because it was our biggest room. Um, it was 700 some people and they had a beautiful big grand piano in there and uh, this big black disco ball in the middle of the room and um, played, uh, played this song um, and had everybody singing along with it and hearing 700 people uh, sing with you, it's kind of incredible. So I'll teach you the part um, on... Uh, in Never Ending December, and, and it, if you feel like it, you can sing along. Um, so it goes like, it goes like this. And you can sing that, or you can sing, or if you don't want to go that high, you can be like, You can sing whatever you want because I won't be able to hear you, so it'll all sound good to me, and I'll just sort of imagine it. But I'll I'll sing the ooze, and you can sing along with me if you feel like it. Yeah, feel free to type the ooze into the chat too. <laughs> Maybe if I tell you why Then 
And I can hear my own damn reason Maybe if I take my time Then I can see the changing seasons And maybe if I knew my line You wouldn't see me up here hardly breathing and Maybe if I change my mind I wouldn't feel my message freezing But I admit, I confess, I surrender I forgive, I forget, I remember I relive, I regret, I re-enter Into this never-ending December Maybe if I don't look down Then I can be a tightrope walker Maybe it all comes around Then I can gain what's owed to my father And I can blow this thing wide open But maybe you won't understand And I should leave these doubts unspoken But I admit, I confess, I surrender I forgive, I forget, I remember When I relive, I regret, I re-enter Into this never-ending December You're singing. Okay weird to finish a song and know that people are listening to it and just sort of embrace the silence you know what I mean but embrace it we must um, hey you know it's a cool thing um, yesterday was the uh, 50th anniversary of the first pride parade in New York and my good friend Daniel Levy was the Grand Marshal yesterday what an incredible honor, and I'm so proud of him and all of the work that he's done, um, and and so proud to be a part of that in some very small way in uh, in Schitt's Creek, and uh, I know that that's what um, 
has drawn a lot of people to my music. Hair is getting out of control at this point, but that's okay. Uh, and uh, and I'm I'm incredibly grateful for the the platform and the support. But I also really love that people seem to connect with um, with the music and um, and I also you know I I, I know everybody's uh, sad and disappointed that the show is done. And uh, I want you all to know that I am more disappointed than you. <laughs> Because, um, damn, what an incredible time that was, and what an incredible group of people. And we were supposed to be basically all through this year on uh, on our farewell tour, and and uh, as a cast, sort of moving moving around across the states and Canada, and probably some other locations too. Um, and uh, obviously, that's not possible at this point. I hope that we'll just selfishly. I hope we'll be able to do that because I I miss seeing everybody and and you know, racing through the airport and our tour manager, Dave Oaken, you know, shepherding us around and making sure we're all there early and going for sound check and, and getting to see these incredible American theaters. That was one of the highlights of that tour was we got to play these incredible places like the Beacon in New York. Um, uh, oof, uh, the, the list I could, uh, I could, I could go on, but I won't bore you with all the places. Either you know about them or you don't, and that doesn't really matter. But I will, um, I will play this song for you because I, I think I owe it a lot of, uh, a lot of gratitude and respect, and um, and I love what it has come to mean to so many of you, and and I appreciate that it's, uh, I don't know. I send this to you with love. I call you when I need you and my heart's on fire You come to me wild and wired Oh, you come to me Give me everything I need Give me a lifetime of promises and a world of dreams Give me the language of love like you know what it means can't be wrong. Take my heart and make it strong, babe. You're simply the best, better than all the rest, better than anyone, anyone who ever met. And I'm stuck on your heart. I hate whatever word you say tear us apart. I would rather be dead In your heart I see the start of every night and every day In your eyes I get lost, I get washed away but Just as long as I'm here in your arms I can be in no better place You're simply the best Better than all the rest Better than anyone Stuck on your heart. Oh, I hang on every word you say. Tear us apart. Honey, I would rather be dead. At all. Each time you leave me, I start losing control. Like you're walking away. In my heart and my soul, I can feel you, baby. Even when I'm alone, no. Baby, don't let go. Cause you're simply the best. Better than all the Baby, I hang on every word you say, tear us apart. But I'm afraid of every day.
because I've decided because there's no like applause to stop me that I can just sort of linger and hang out on these uh, outros a little bit. So, yeah. Um, I don't know why, but I kind of feel like playing this song. Um, it's not mine, but I feel like I broke a, a, a cover bubble just now. And um, this is a song that. Uh, I've been playing this song for years. I used to play this song when I was doing theater. I'd play it as a sort of a, a vocal warm-up. And um, it's by my, my I'd say one of my, my greater, uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of this guy, Tom Waits. And anybody who pays too much attention probably knows that. Um, there's a song at the end of uh, Rain Dogs called Anywhere I Lay My Head, and it's got this horn arrangement, and he just sort of scratches and cries it out. And, um, but I've been thinking about it. There's a number of um, encampments in Toronto um, that people are, are living in, in tents and stuff, and the city's trying to shut them down and shut them out. And uh, But they don't have, a lot of people don't have a place to go, and shelters have been terribly unsafe during COVID. And... Um, and social services are, uh, you know, this is never enough. And uh, people have needs that are greater than what we seem to be able to supply. Anyway, I've just been thinking about that a little bit. And, and I was thinking about this song. Set the Thames on fire Now I must come back down Well she's laughing in her sleep, boys I can feel it in my bones But anywhere that I lay Where I'm going to call my home It seems like the world is upside down Feel like my pockets Is filled up with gold, yeah But now the clouds have covered everything over And the wind is blowing cold Anybody, baby, cause I learn to be alone anywhere that I lay my head. That's where I'm gonna call my home. I said, anywhere, anywhere. Okay, getting close to 15,000 viewers, and uh, that's quite a big number. Mm. What do I want to play you? I want to play you. I want to play you more songs. I got a little more time, right? Yeah, okay, good. Um, so I used to, I used to do this sort of like yearly uh, I would call, sort of call it like the gold rush where I would uh, 
I would go down to California every year and try to get acting work in January with all the other Canadian actors and American actors too, and probably actors of all different places. Anyway, um, I would do this sort of this pilgrimage down and um, often drive myself uh, there, either with company or by myself. And um, I've done it a number of different ways. And and America, for all of its deep faults, uh, has some stunning landscape, um, you know, that we're in the process of, as human beings, um, destroying. Anyway, uh, it's pretty incredible to watch it as you as you drive through it, you get a, a sense that in a day, in several hours, it changes so dramatically and um, and you sort of get to touch on all these different, you know, places that are in the same country, but they're completely different. Uh, they look and feel completely different. People sound different. Uh, everything looks different. Um, anyway, uh, having done that drive many times, I... Uh, I look back on those on those drives and uh, certain things, certain images that have stayed with me. You know, when you're driving alone and you see these things, you, you just don't want to tell about them. You can't explain to anybody what they are. Um, they're just sort of yours. On the side of the highway, with the rain pouring down. I can't remember where I was headed to now. Redstone on the dashboard, and my head in the clouds. I get in my lane, and baby, I don't want to get out. And I'm hoping it holds. 
There's a crack in everything I hold close to my soul. The woman I'm next to, she'll never get old. I'll never forget you on American roads. Playing that one without a band is weird. It's weird. Um, but fun. Always fun to forget the words and see what comes out of you. Um, all right. Maybe I'll play some guitar. I've, uh, I've seen, yeah, let's turn this up a little bit. I've seen this pop up a couple of times in the, in the chat for requests and I haven't played this a lot. I don't think I've ever played this at a show. Um, this is sort of uh, connected to American Roads in a way. Sort of in tune. I miss writing songs, driving my old car across America. And I miss writing songs, and feeling confident temporarily. And I miss waking up and feeling terrible. It seems so valuable. And I miss getting high with people I don't know and feeling like I should probably go right now. I gotta leave right now. I gotta go right now. Yeah, I gotta go. I miss writing songs Sitting wondering If there he'd be anything And I miss singing songs and Smoking a cigarette Before the internet Took all of my time And I miss coming home After several months away And wishing I could stay and I miss writing songs about who I used to be The people I don't see anymore Where did everybody go? Where did everybody go? Where did everybody go? Oh, well, I, I gotta leave right now I miss writing songs, driving my old car back to Canada.
Same capo positioning, so might as well bring it back up beat a little bit. I think this will be my last one here, guys, but thanks for joining me. I left my fall behind. Don't wait up for me, I will catch up to you, darling, I'll be fine. I won't be far behind. And if you're falling down, I'll remember that it's not only up to me, you don't need someone to protect you. But you got me And I get you And you get me And I got you I'm known to feel sometimes like the whole damn world is conspiring against you and ain't just as blind. But honey, ain't life unkind. But don't you ever doubt. But don't you ever question my love for you. I will help you out. You let me, cause I got you. Do you get me? Oh, I wanna get you like you got me. Guys, thanks for tuning in so much, and thank you, Amazon Music, for having me. Uh, this has been a lot of fun. I'm sorry I didn't get to all of your requests or <laughs> see all of your uh, your chats, but good Lord, try remembering the lyrics to your songs while people are saying things that you're half trying to read. Anyway, it's been an absolute pleasure, and uh, I wish you all the best. Cheers. <laughs>